So I recently posted a jam track for Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire. And in this video, I just wanted to walk you through kind of how to uh, think about playing along with that track and uh, get the most out of it. Um, it's a lot of fun on the banjo. Uh, it's not too hard to play. You know, just uses your basic one, four, five chords. Um, so good if you're, you know, in the earlier phases of learning. Um, there is also a tab that you can download through the link uh, listed on this video or in the video description. That is basically what I'm going to play here when I demonstrate it. So I'm going to demonstrate playing through the backup track first, and then I'll come back and kind of walk you through what I'm doing there. So here we go. Okay, so that's one way to approach playing along Clawhammer banjo style with that Ring of Fire uh, backing track. So first things first, this is in the key of A. I am in standard A tuning, which is just standard G tuning raised up two frets using a capo and a spike and the fifth string uh, to get there. So that will, you will end up with uh, an A on the fifth string, an E on the fourth string, an A on the third string, C sharp on the second string and an E on your first string. So A, E, A, C sharp, E. So the song begins with the introduction. Uh, there's room for that on the backup track. Uh, just like on the original recording, it opens with those trumpets that rec had that recurring thing throughout the song. Uh, uh, so on the banjo, that first little chunk of bits, uh, you could you know do any number of ways uh, like this. All right, or and then you have a little bit of filler, and then the next little phrase. So. To that, from that second to the fourth string on the third, I mean second to the fourth fret on the third string. You can just do that with the open second if you wanted to. Again, lots of options there, and then and then there's some space to fill, and then we get into the 
song. So the entire intro is like this. And those little licks are going to recur throughout the song. Um, that gets us into the verse. And for this particular um, song, we're gonna need our one, four, and five chord, which in this, uh, we're in the key of A. So that's gonna be our A, our D, our A major, our D major, and our E major chord. The A major can be down the neck, we can get it just with the open strings. Um, and then our four chord, we can get with what you might know as your C shape, um, all, if you're in standard G tuning, but it's now a D. Uh, easier just to think of it as the four chord, it's the four chord in either case. Um, those of you who are learning the bright fretboard mastery system will know, recognize this as tray position, and our five chord is also, or tray shape, is also tray shape, um, just two frets down. Um, you may know this as the D shape, uh, but again, in this key, since we're capoed at the second fret, we are playing an E. Um, so one, four, five. And in this song, I'll oftentimes leave this uh, fourth string open a fair amount of the time um, to get that low E note. All right, so the song begins. Um, Love is a burning thing. So we move to that quick uh, uh, beat on the um, four chord. Love is a burning thing. So if you're just backing yourself up, love is a burning thing. Do simple bum ditties. I might throw a little syncopation in there. Love is a burning thing. And then uh, we go right into that little trumpet look again. Love. A burning thing. So without me singing. And again, lots of options for that lick you just you could just do. You know, something like that. Alright, next part. And it makes a fire ring. Alright, so we're back to our one chord makes this quick switch to the five. And then we're back to the one. And we're, we're back to the one and we're gonna do that little lick again. Okay, the second little trumpet lick. So all together, low is a burning thing. And it makes the fiery brain. All right, next part's the same as the first part. Bound. My wild desire. That's exactly as the as we started. Um, and then the last part, I fell in to a ring of fire. So it's one. I fell in to a ring of fire. All right. <clears throat> and that gets us into our chorus, which starts on the five chord. I fell into a move to the four. Burning ring of to the one. Fire. I went. Five again, down, 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 and the four planes went to the one higher. All right, and just, you know, bum diddy, whatever you want behind that. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. All right, and then we have, and it burns, 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 still the one chord. Then we move to the four, the ring of back to the one, fire, then to the five, the to the one. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 the flames went higher. And burns, 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 the ring of fire, the ring of fire. Alright, so again, sometimes I'm trying, I'm playing some of the melody notes uh, and phrasing behind my voice where I can. Um, feel free to experiment with that too. Um, again, the way I, one way to approach it is tabbed out. Um, and then, so that's the chorus, and then the solo part is over the chords of the chorus. It follows that melody. So basically what we just covered, just adding in a little bit more melodic flavor to it. solo part. 
All right, so that's the basics. That's the basic foundation of uh, Ring of Fire. And I encourage you to just, you know, get the chord progression and experiment just with playing along with the backing tracks and seeing what you discover, right? Make up your own uh, way of doing it. Uh, you can use the, the tab as a reference uh, point as well. But, uh, but really uh, playing along with those tracks uh, in that way and just kind of uh, over the, the basic skeletal foundation is really good uh, for your musical development. All right, that's it. Uh, Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire. Have fun.